Welcome to our video on ARMA modeling with stats models. Today, we're tackling a question that many data enthusiasts encounter. How can we effectively train an ARMA model on one data set and test it on another without introducing look-ahead bias? Our viewer is exploring the examples provided by stats models but is unsure about the best approach to achieve accurate out-of-sample predictions. Let's break down the challenge and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To train an ARMA model on a training data set and test it on a separate test data set, we need to follow a structured approach. First, let's load the necessary libraries and the data set. Next, we will split the data set into training and testing sets. For example, we can use data from 1700 to 2000 for training and from 2001 to 2012 for testing. Now we can fit the ARMA model using the training data set. This ensures that our model is trained only on the data from 1700 to 2000. After fitting the model, we can make predictions on the test data set. This will give us one step ahead forecasts without any look ahead bias. Finally, let's visualize the results. We can plot both the actual test data and the predicted values to see how well our model performed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In the past 16 months, I've learned that the ARMA and ARIMA models and STATS models may not support the behavior I need for prediction. However, the SARIMAX model does. I used an ARIMA model trained from 1700 to 1990 to predict dynamically from 1990 to 2012. Here's a code snippet demonstrating the process. First, we load the Sunspots dataset and fit an ARMA model. Then, we make predictions dynamically for the years 1990 to 2012. Next, I fit a SARIMAX model using the same data. I copied the parameters from the first model for dynamic predictions, which allows for more accurate forecasting. Finally, I plotted the results to visualize the predictions alongside the actual data. This approach provides a clearer understanding of the model's performance. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To prepare your data for ARMA predictions, start by splitting it into training and test data sets. Use data up until January 1st of last year for training and the data from January of last year to the end for testing. Then, you can make predictions based on the fitted model using the test set. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.